and the InBath project is underway with the groundbreaking this morning in Manhattan. An important groundbreaking ceremony happened just a few hours ago in Manhattan. It was for the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility, or NBAF, seven years after it was first authorized by Congress. New at 6, KSNT News' Katya Like was there and joins us now to tell us what it means for More the Kansas economy. More than 300 economy. people gathered here today about three hours ago for a ceremonial groundbreaking. Now it's ceremonial because construction on this facility has already started. The event drew people from the state's Congress congressional delegation, the governor, and the secretary of Homeland Security. It was a day to celebrate as they formally acknowledged the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility, or NBAF, a project the state fought very hard to get. It's going to be a great opportunity for us, but it also is the center uh, to make sure that our nation's food supply is protected, not only here, but all around the world. NBAP is a $54 million research and educational facility that has already brought construction jobs to Manhattan and will bring about 400 more permanent jobs here. Researchers here study foreign animals and diseases which could be transmitted to humans from animals. Its ultimate goal, to make sure the nation's food supply is safe. The facility's design incorporates cutting-edge biocontainment technologies and leading best practices from the most secure facilities across this entire a reputation that our food supply is safe and secure. In order to make that happen, we have to have InBath. Manhattan was selected for this site after three years of research, and the location allows it to connect with K-State's Biosecurity Research Institute and the Veterinary Medicine Research. It shows the significance of this project to the United States of America and to the world. There will be no place like this in the world. Like I said before, the facility is still under construction, so today's groundbreaking was more for federal officials. Now, the laboratory, as you can see, is under construction. It will continue to be under construction until 2020. Two years later, after that, the entire facility will be complete. In Manhattan, Katia Like, KSNT News. Thank you, Katya. And the NBAF facility is projected to bring in $3.5 billion into the Kansas economy. That's in